Hi, Albert here with Mainland Cycle Center. Today we're going to take a look at the 2020 Kawasaki Z650. And this is in the uh, metallic spark black color. And this is the ABS model. This is available with and without ABS. It's available in two colors. Uh, this one and then uh, this is actually called metallic spark black with metallic flat spark black or something like that. And this one has the black frame. There is another model that is metallic spark black with the green frame. The green frame model cost $100 more than this one. So I guess you can look at that two ways. They're giving you a break because this one didn't cost as much to paint or they're overcharging you on the other one. So, but there's a hundred dollar price difference depending on the color scheme. And then there's four hundred dollars difference between ABS and non-ABS. We are looking at the ABS model now. So this bike that we're looking at has an MSRP of $76.49. The uh, green frame model would be a hundred dollars more, $77.49, where this model, if it was non-ABS, would be $72.49 and then $73.49 for the uh, non-ABS green frame bike. There, we got that out of the way. So, uh, new for 2020 is the LED headlight, uh, which is very cool, a little more aggressive looking uh, on that LED headlight, and I really like the light output of these LED headlights. Really a night, nice, crisp, bright white light and uh, it's a real white color temperature I mean it's not blue or anything like that it's a real nice white uh, light temperature the color output on it so this has a, a high, stensile, high tensile steel frame a trellis frame uh, which really reduced the weight on these from the previous generations without the trellis frame that was really a cool thing they did that's not new for this year but uh, but that was a nice thing that they did a few years ago and reduced the weight on these. This has uh, a 649cc parallel twin, liquid cooled, fuel injected, tool overhead cam, has a six speed transmission, and this is a cassette type transmission. So this transmission on this bike is serviceable without removing the engine from the frame. And so, uh, not that you'll ever have to do that, but I don't know, I dig it being a, a former motorcycle mechanic. Uh, sometimes still a motorcycle mechanic. I like that. This also has the uh, assist and slipper clutch. So this has a very, very light clutch pull with only three clutch springs. It has look, a little ramp system in there. And as you apply torque to the bike, to the engine, with the via the throttle, <laughs> it kind of pushes that ramp system kind of pushes the clutch plates together. So that's the assist part of that. And then on back torque with enough back torque being decel with the clutch out, with enough back torque, it'll allow the clutch to slip. So you get an assist and slipper clutch. It's ingenious. I absolutely love it. It's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else. Nice compact underbody exhaust. 17-inch uh, wheels, new tires for uh, 2020 it has the Dunlop Road Sport 2 tires. Uh, Kawasaki says those tires handle a little better. Clear lenses on the turn signals. Uh, you do get these adjustable, uh, the adjustable reach on the levers. I mean, you can adjust this distance here via this dial on both the uh, front brake and on the clutch. Both pretty cool feature. Take a look at this side. Uh, dual disc brakes on the front. Those are two piston calipers. The semi-floating sem uh, <laughs> pedal style rotors. 41 millimeter fork. It's not inverted. There's no, uh, no adjustments on it. Which is to be expected at this price point. Cool looking seat. I really dig the pattern on the vinyl. It has a nice kind of organic uh, pattern to it. The paint, it's uh, the gas tank, the front cowling around the headlight are both a glossy finish and then the front fender is a matte finish. These little side uh, cowls there are a matte finish and then the tail section is a matte finish. And then the frame is a matte finish as well as the swing arm. 
is a matte finish as well. Has this a little bit of red accents on the bike, so it's got this kind of really cool kind of stripe going down the tank. I think it looks good. I like it. And then the other big news for 2020 is the new display. So the full color TFT uh, display on this, and then also you can connect to this at this uh, display. Uh, via your smartphone, via Bluetooth, uh, with the Kawasaki app, Rideology, the app it's called. And so you can download that app and you can do some cool stuff there, some ride logging, get a notification on the display if you're getting a call or a text. Uh, on some of the models that have traction control and things like that, power modes, this bike does not have those things. You can go in and change those as well, but uh, you don't have that on this one. There's your ignition switch with steering lock built in has an LED headlight with a pretty cool Z pattern on it. I'll get my camera going the right way. There. And clear turn signal lenses. So anyway, that's a look at the 2020 Z650. Very cool bike. Uh, a lot of really nice enhancements for 2020. And uh, anyway, worth checking out if you like the naked bikes. All right, once again, we are Mainland Cycle Center. We're located in Lamarck, Texas. We're about 30 minutes south of downtown Houston, just off of I-45. You can find us online at mainlandcyclecenter.com or by phone at 409-948-4969. And we would just love it if you give us a call, shoot us an email, or even better, come on down to Mainland Cycle Center where we'd love to help any way that we can. Hey, thanks for watching.